here on behalf of the management principal member of institution innovation council i once again welcome you all for the online impact lecture series phase 2 sponsored by moe's innovation cell aicte new delhi session 1 on building entrepreneurial ecosystem in higher education institutions an entrepreneurial ecosystem a peculiar system of interdependent actors and relations directly or indirectly supporting the creations and growth of new ventures may I now request our principal dr s rajendran president of institutions innovation council to deliver the welcome address please sir uh, thank you uh, good morning to all present here Here today i am very happy institution innovation council of jaya engineering college is organizing impact lecture series 2 session 1 building entrepreneurship ecosystem in higher educational institution is sponsored by ministry of higher education innovation cell and aicte on behalf of our management i welcome our guest speaker dr p s manjula the department of management studies university of madras okay thank you ma'am thank you for accepting our invitation and i also i welcome our iic vice president and enri hod professor dr kalarani ma'am and also i welcome all iic member in jec and all department heads and faculty members and my dear students institution innovation council established at higher educational institution to help in planning and organizing around the year of activities in the area of innovation entrepreneurship and intellectual property rights to motivate the students and faculty to pursue innovation and startup during the academic year to establish to establish a strong connection with ecosystem enable to regional and national level and aware the students and faculty members about the innovation this kind of activity would support the development of an entrepreneurship culture that can influence the culture value and economic development in our country thank you once again i wish you all success thank you thank you ma'am thank you sir for your wonderful uh, welcome thank you once again sir the world is full of diamonds and gems and we are having one such gem here for today i'd like to introduce our guest to the gathering here we have a dr p s manjula assistant professor in department of management studies in university of madras she pursued her bsc mathematics from kerala university her msc in mathematics from college of engineering anna university and mba in marketing and system from madras university and her phd in management from madras university she has been qualified in net and set she has a membership in iste national hrd networks madras management association she started her career as a senior lecturer in department of management studies in jai engineering college and she acted as academic counselor for ignous mba program at jai college of arts and science and now she is an assistant professor in the department of management studies in university of madras and coming on for her research project she has completed a research project titled a study on the attitude of farmers of tanjavur district towards mobile applications for agricultural development under ugc up for two years duration with a budget of rupees 5 lakhs 23000 she has an ongoing research project titled rural development accessing public utilities in smaller villages 
in Tamil Nadu under UGC RUSA 2.0 for two years duration and the budget of rupees 59 lakhs 96,000. And she has received lots of awards. So she has received an award of Outstanding Women in Management by Venus International Foundation. She, is honored, she was honored with the Best Researcher Award by the Vice Chancellor, University of Madras, in appreciation of her research work. She has received Best Paper Awards in various international conferences and received cash prizes too. She has published nearly 56 papers in reputed journals and 60 papers in international and national conferences. She has published two books and has also organized various awareness programs for the students as well. With a short introduction, I would like to hand over the session to Dr. P.S. Manjula, Assistant Professor in Department of Management Studies, University of Madras, to give a lecture on building entrepreneurial uh, ecosystem in higher education institutions. Please, ma'am. Manjula. Yeah, Manjula. Good morning, all of you. Morning, ma'am. Yeah. Good so morning. Can I, yeah, can I continue? No, 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 no. <laughs> Kalarani, can I continue? Can I, uh, we just uh, we just introduced the new yes, gathering. I, I guess you were not connected at that time. But anyway, uh, okay. Uh, so so I, I hand over the session. Uh, ma'am, could you hear me? I'm listening. Yeah. Uh, can I continue? Ma'am, uh, I'll introduce again uh, with no, a few, no need, uh, no with no need, your permission no again. No need. Okay. Uh, anyway. anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. With a short introduction, I would like to hand over the session to uh, Dr. P.S. Manjula, Assistant Professor in Department of Management Studies, University of Madras, to give a lecture on building entrepreneurial ecosystem in higher education institutions. Please, ma'am. Thank you so much. Am I audible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. And I'm just trying to share my screen. You have oh, to let yes. me know whether this is visible. I may request all, all who are attending this session to please mute yourselves. Yeah, thank you so much. See, when we do an online session, it is very important that everybody keeps yourself muted and um, responds only when asked for. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm sorry today is, I have some issue with my camera and my camera is not working. Though it, when I started, it was uh, working and functional and something uh, wrong with my antivirus software. So you have to excuse me for, for um, not switching on my camera. Is that okay, Dr. Kalarani? Uh, it's okay. Okay, Manjula. Thank you so much. It's always a rewarding experience to come and talk uh, to fellow teachers and uh, address fellow uh, uh, no fraternity and it is even doubly you uh, know uh, what to say satisfying and it is uh, all the more uh, a plus point when you are coming back to the institution where you have started your career am i connected uh, yes 
yeah thank you and you have to let me know if i'm not audible or something kalarani you have to get back to me on my mobile or something if i'm getting disconnected okay 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 sure manjula yeah so as i said um 25 years back i started my career in jaya engineering college and uh, kalarani has uh, been uh, my friend and a colleague that i have known since uh, my early days when i started my career as a teacher so it's very very gratifying and i feel honored to be part of this uh, initiative that dr kalarani and dr rajendran sir have uh, together put in and thank you uh, dr sita for uh, introducing me i have not heard the introduction however i know, i presume that you have introduced me to the audience but what matters more than whatever introduction is uh, given about you is at the end of the day the connect that we have as teachers and that matters the most and i think that's the only thing that should matter at the end of the day so with that um let me move on to the agenda that i have and i presume i have an one and a half hours time for my talk and um, the first part of my talk i'm going to be talking more on uh, generic things and then my second part of my talk i'm going to talk about what i call as the seven pillars of ideation so according to me if, if you want to have an ecosystem built and any startup it all starts from the mind so how do we get to idea and what matters the most when we make ideas so that's what my second part of the talk is going to be on and time permitting i reiterate time permitting i would like to throw some light and a birds eye view of what is it that we are doing at the university of madras as part of the entrepreneurship and career hub initiative they say that entrepreneurship education and as per peter drucker whom we call as the father of management most of what you have heard about entrepreneurship is all wrong it's not magic it's not mysterious and it has nothing to do with genes it's a discipline and like any discipline it can be learned and because it can be learned that is why we are here to talk about entrepreneurship we are here to talk about entrepreneurship education and what is it that higher education can do and why is it that we are talking about it today so to understand that let us go to the national education policy and the education system of india per se see when uh, we talk about the national education policy that has come up in 2020 we know that there are a certain things that we have changed for instance one of the changes that i can see that is happening is the our schooling system especially the schooling system the pre primary which was not so formal and it was a very informal has now come into the embrace of a formal system so education and schooling is starting early on that is one the second thing that i can see visibly happening is how we are embracing technology into our classes the pandemic has accelerated that process and the pandemic has made the teachers the fraternity of teaching learning to understand that there has to be a hand in hand uh, approach to embrace technology in our classes we can't stay back and we could see the digital age coming even in 2000 but 2090 as i said has actually accelerated the process so there is something that is happening in the technology front there is a lot of informal certification and education that is happening children are no longer dependent on what we teach in the classroom there is a lot that is available outside the classroom so the te- the students have this um the technology in their hand and they can go and prepare themselves learn outside the classroom so that is against another phenomena that is happening but more than that what i see today in the education institutes institutes is that there is also the approach of looking at the vocational training skill based programs a thrust 
even today when we have our curriculum revision one of the things that is discussed the most is what is that that is there latest in the industry yeah board of studies going and driving straight into a dhaba by the roadside sitting on the charpoy in the dhaba chatting with the truck drivers who had parked their vehicle there and having his lunch now suman mulgaonkar had made it a habit to go every afternoon sit and chat with the truck walas to understand how the tata trucks was doing what was the problems they were facing in their long distance drives when they were uh, using tata trucks what they could do to better the experiences of these drivers what is the solutions for many of the problems that these people were facing um while driving the tata trucks that was a commitment that suman mulgaonkar had and it was uh, no it was these initiatives that made tata name one of their brands from suman su and mulgaonkar mo that is wow suman uh, sumo now what i want to emphasize here is look at a man like sundar pichai who came up with google chrome he was the man behind the google maps so if you want even if you don't want to become an entrepreneur it will be your innovative abilities your streak of entrepreneurship your creativity uh, of the entrepreneur within you which may even help the corporate enterprise where you're working and we call that as intrapreneurship or corporate entrepreneurship i have an, a club in my uh, university in my department which is called as a, the edge and sometimes students ask me ma'am i don't want to become an entrepreneur but should i uh, become a part of this club so i ask them tell me some of the skills that entrepreneurs need then they will list them out communication i said though you don't need communication skill necessary ma'am negotiation skill you don't need negotiation skill cause i need ma'am so they uh, no confidence building you don't want to be confident yes ma'am you want to be confident networking ability you don't want to be uh, having that of course we ma'am so entrepreneur skills are not only for those who want to become entrepreneurs it's for everybody this understanding is what our students need to understand whether you want to start you do a startup you want to become an uh, uh, no an a, a, a founder director everything is fine you don't want to even then it's fine because at least you will go to some enterprise and your innovative and uh, creative ability will be able to help that enterprise grow like many of the ceos who have contributed there is an interesting uh, uh, theory which is called as the effectual reasoning theory now what does it mean this was actually propagated by a professor by name saraswati an indian by origin and was working in the university of chicago she says that um, the the new thought of an uh, effectual reasoning is what will help an entrepreneur instead of uh, no where an entrepreneur used to think that no if you want to reach a goal then you start bringing lot of ideas and then eventually you want to come to a goal she he says she says no what you have to do is you have to have an effectual reasoning what are the things that you have in your hand like who am i i am as a person so i have certain values i have certain attributes i have certain abilities so we she says that you have to know do what is called as a value mapping and understand who you are then what i know the what i know is your tangible professional competencies as well as your intangible professional competencies so in, intangible personal competencies so the, uh, she calls it as um, competence mapping and who am i know who am i know is your uh, relatives it could be uh, the people you know or it could be your friends of your friends so the networking both in your personal as well as your work life so a combination of all these is what will help you to start an enterprise this is what she says so the principles of effective thinking is a very important concept in entrepreneurship today and propagated by dr saraswati she says you start with bird in hand principle what is it that you have whom do you know i am good i am good at electronics i know to madras has taken um i have worked as the program convener for the entrepreneurship and career hub at the university of madras and i have a very able team which supports me in our uh, en enterprise uh, at the uh, university we have an entrepreneurship career hub we have a uh, career and counseling hub 
we have a uh, skill development uh, um, club we have a skill based internship training so the skill based internship programs we run for 21 days and we have actually trained more than 400 of our pg students in uh, um, more than uh, not 12 internship programs some of them i have listed here have been conducted for them so these are some of the pictures from that we have also done skill development courses for our affiliated colleges university affiliated colleges we have identified and based on the nsqf guidelines we have trained almost 1300 Fifty students from our affiliated colleges on different courses. Again, as I said, they are all being skill based. So this is a photographs of the principal of the affiliated colleges coming and receiving. We provide our uh, uh, at the University of Madras the Entrepreneurship and Career Hub learning support for our students. We conduct a lot of programs for them. These are some of the highlights of the programs that we have done. We provide them infrastructure support. This is how the the then uh, higher education minister coming and inaugurating a Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. So I don't know. Uh, did I talk about this competition called Tulir? So if you see, we had conducted this competition. Can, can, is my screen visible? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. So the this competition we had conducted for our students in several rounds. and uh, based on this competition what we have done is we have identified eight teams which are being incubated in our un university now and uh, this is the final round for the competition and we have given them the office spaces and we are signing the contract with them and they will be uh, using this office space for a 18 months period so they we are coming up with a policy um, uh, for these incubators at our space now this is one of the teams i don't want to talk about a lot of teams just two examples i will talk one is this uh, team which is coming up with uh, this is so we what we did is we have made one faculty as a mentor so the mentor and has to be there faculty mentor uh, and there will be a team maximum five people can be there in a team that is what we have come uh, we have made as a rule and uh, this particular team has come up with a biomarker so you know that when women become uh, during pregnancy for women some of them develop what is called called as gestational diabetes so uh, gdm gestational diabetes men meningitis so this um, uh, uh, can be a problem for the the newborn baby even for the mother there is a risk of a premature deliveries and lot of other risks at present there is no mechanism for detecting the pre dgm that is whether a, a, a pregnant woman will develop a, a diabetes only when uh, during the second or third trimester mistake they do test and if it is present they say you are diabetic or you have a gestational diabetes it can be confirmed but nobody can predict it now this particular team has come up with a biomarker which is a very very uh, user friendly uh, diagnostic kit which can be even bought brought uh, over the counter and to detect the pre gdm now we have the first challenge for us for this team is to we have asked them to register for the ipr so that we have gone for the ipr and we are waiting for it to be published once it gets published then only we will look for the commercialization my team too i'm and uh, uh, they are working on a product uh, which is uh, for a disinfectant system for uh, no the airborne viruses in indoor spaces now again they have come up with a new technology using 222 uh, nanometer eczema uh, lamp which is uh, can be used for a disinfectant when they came to us they only had a working principle but they had no idea of how it will be uh, marketable as a product how it will look who they have to partner with but now that they have traveled with us for another 6 months or so they are almost at the verge of coming up with a new product now the third is uh, they are bringing up an antimicrobial uh, biodegradable polymer material for food packaging so they are solving two issues one is 
uh, they are using um, uh, an uh, uh, biodegradable material that is the first one second one is it also has antimicrobial uh, property that means it will keep the increase the shelf life of the packed material now i don't want to go into the other themes uh, uh, because of want of time uh, but uh, now this year what we have done is we have launched a new program for them and the tuli 2022 is coming up from tuli 2021 we have identified eight teams which are uh, startup companies and we are incubating them in our office in our call in university and tuli 2022 has already been launched and uh, we are going to identify the next round of people who will travel with us in the incubation space this uh, journey of madras university i wouldn't say that it is a new one uh, my own senior in the department of management studies university of madras is the one who was celebrated by all the media uh, in the news in the last couple of months back because he launched the ipo at nasdaq and he was the first saas company his name is girish matrabudam and he uh, started the freshworks was listed in the nasdaq of the ipo but what is more important is that when freshworks went and uh, launched the Uh, uh, the comp the ipo in the us market next day there were articles on him and what was a very interesting article is that overnight 500 employees most of them from chennai and who are less than 30 years old became overnight they all became uh, building entrepreneurial ecosystem and the startup to be an entrepreneur thank uh, thank you ma'am uh, it was a vibrant lecture ma'am again Uh, which motivated us most of us to become an entrepreneur so after your lecture i guess like uh, most of us will become an entrepreneur so thank you thank you so much for uh, eye opening uh, to an entrepreneurship and i request uh, dr kalarani uh, hod it sorry hod e and i and vice president of iic to deliver the word of thanks thank you so much ma'am thank you sita you are muted kalarani kalarani ma'am you are muted yes ma'am yes uh, thank you sita a uh, very good afternoon to one and all gathered here i like to thank the management of jaya engineering college for giving us an opportunity to organize this wonderful event online impact lecture series phase 2 sponsored by moe's innovation cell aict new delhi i like to thank our resource person dr p s manjula assistant professor in department of management studies in university of madras for spending her valuable time and sharing her knowledge in building entrepreneurial ecosystem in higher education institutions thank you manjula thank you i extend my thank to the principal dr s rajendran president of iic as well as for his support in organizing this event thank you sir i extend my thanks to the members of iac and the staff members and the participants for their kind cooperation to make this event a successful one thank you thank you everybody thank you manjula thank you so much i think uh, you have all been uh, uh, patiently listening i i suppose and uh, i'm sorry for the small technical glitch that happened in between i don't know how far i was able to reach all of you but uh, uh, let us all realize that whether we like it or not this is the way forward for us even tomorrow nac or anything this is going to be an important evaluation parameter for education institutions and uh, it is uh, important that we teach our students and the society uh, to be wealth creators and not mere wealth managing nation thank you one and all thank you ma'am if there is any feedback or something i can quickly listen to them anybody anybody would like to give a quick feedback yes any of the participant uh, you can volunteer and just give a feedback good afternoon ma'am i'm gobika uh, i'm doing uh, mtech first year in textile technology in jay engineering college uh, the section was very useful and informative ma'am and uh, i like the way of uh, presentation and uh, you are uh, uh, doing it uh, in a friendly manner it was very nice thank you so much ma'am thank you gopika that was so nice of you thank you so much okay ma'am thank you
थैंक यू कला रानी थैंक यू थैंक यू मंजुला बाय नेक्स्ट सेशन इनिशियटिव यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ़ थैंक यू सो मच